Good evening, my YouTubers. Okay. I don't know how many times I have to try to make this video before I, I can actually do it. Let's get this done and over with. Here's a little one. She says, hi. Hi. She just got groomed the day before yesterday. Doesn't she look so cute? And she's like, mom, put me down. And you know what? I'm hands free. My new phone case has a little ring on the back of it. What is going on here? What's going on with the lighting? Okay. Um, my new phone case has the lighting thing, I mean the lighting, my new phone case has the ring on the back of it, where, um, I know what's going on with the lighting. I have it facing toward me, instead of facing out, because I'm wanting to take a video of me instead of outward, like I normally do. So... That's the way it goes. Um, I'm actually waiting for something from Amazon. Um, I ordered some new landlines that are coming in the mail because the one I have, it keeps dropping calls for some reason. And um, plus it's about 10 years old. I need new ones. The battery keeps dying. So I need new ones. So I ordered uh, new ones and they're supposed to be here today so I my last video I thought somebody was at the door but I want to announce that tomorrow Lori at Lori's Crochet Corner 2 will be doing a live panel I believe at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and she hits a uh, uh, 2,000 subscribers if you're not subscribed to her go check her out and if you like her hit that sub button she can use the subscribers the family members um, she does wonderful lives and panels and she even does awesome crochet tutorials and other videos um, she does a little bit of everything um, cooking Crochet, she has reborns, um, does a little bit of everything. So check her out. And um, also, you know what? I know what the problem is. I don't have you where you need to be. That's it. That's it. I see me better, therefore I know you can probably see me better, hopefully. Um, uh, also, Tuesday when I got her groomed, um, I'm never going to go with them again, even though they did a really good job, you know, I'm going to either try to go with my, mo my groomer and try to get somebody to take me um like my daughter-in-law find out you know when she's off and just have her come and spend time with me take me up there because she's just up the street um because my groomer is only 68 dollars compared to these guys their normal price is about a hundred dollars but for a mutt, they're $15 extra. They called her a mutt. She's not a mutt. She doesn't have more than two. She only has a chihuahua and poodle in her. That is called a hybrid. I watched a YouTube video explaining all that. It's a dog YouTube video that specializes in dog breeds. And they were specializing in different poodle breeds that day. Uh, mix, poodle breed mix. And they called a uh, hybrid breeds is what they called it. Hybrid breeds. And, you know, from the beginning, 
I didn't know what to actually call her, so I always just called her Chipoodle. That is actually what she is called, is a Chipoodle. And I didn't know that's what she was called. But um, getting back to this groomer, they wanted to charge me $15 more. I'm like, no, I can't do that. I'm on Social Security, I can't do that. So, next time she needs to be groomed, I will not be going with them. If anything, I will find out when my daughter-in-law is off, ask her if she can come and take me, and then go up the street, because I can always just ride my wheelchair just up the street and um, make an appointment with her, because... I can't seem to get a hold of her by phone, so, um, but, you know, what can you do, you know, with this pandemic going on, but I want to get her before the fall hits, because if this whole thing hits the fan again, and everything starts closing down, I want her to be groomed, I want her to have a haircut, because she got matted pretty good, because she got groomed in February and then March everything closed down and then she wasn't able to get a haircut until um yeah she wasn't able to get a haircut until um Tuesday I mean everything's high demand right now I mean hairdressers I went and well we're gonna get up to that um, Tuesday I did do something wild and crazy for me, but I did it in solidarity for everybody that I've lost to cancer, everybody that I know and love that are still fighting cancer. I have a sister and best friend that possibly may be fighting cancer. I'm not going to say who she is because she may not want me to. So, um... I shaved my head. What prompted me also was uh, what last week my aunt, my cousin had one of these. My cousin that actually had cancer years ago, she had one of these on her head. And I complimented it that I really liked it. And I said, that's really pretty. I like that. And so next thing you know, she's telling me a couple of days ago, be looking out for your mailbox Tuesday. So Tuesday, I checked my mailbox and these were in it. You know, I thought maybe I might be getting, I don't know, a mask or something. But I got these. And so... I messaged her and told her I really like these. What are they? Because I would like to buy some more. I said, I would like to buy more, but I need to know the name. What does she do? Go and buy more for me. And then without telling me or asking me if I wanted one, she went and bought me a blonde wig. I mean, so you know what? Because it's summer and it's better for my hair growth because I've had trouble with my hair thinning up top. Um, my hair thinning up top. Um, and I talked to the groomer, uh, uh, groomer, hairdresser. I talked, see Connie? You were talking about a fly swatter either last night or today. Look what's on my wall. Right there. <laughs> it's flying around. It's swatting the wall. Anyway, um, the, the hairdresser said, you know, I said, I'm getting my uh, hair shaved in hopes that it will grow out thicker and fuller. And she said it should. Because I did have some baby hairs starting to grow in. 
But I'm ho I said I hope that it helped to grow the, you know, my hair was balding up here. So she said that it should, but what I'm going to do to help is I'm going to put coconut oil on my hair, you know, and then massage it in, leave it in a little bit, and then take it out. And so um, that's what I'm going to do. And um, hope here's hoping my hair will grow back fuller, stronger, better. I had full, strong hair when I was a kid. I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm always joking with my, myself. Thanks, Mom and, Mom and Dad, for giving me baby fine hair because my dad was balding and my mom always had baby fine hair. What happened? And everybody else in my family has thick hair, except for my brothers. All three of them are grown bald, except my two brothers or my, only my, you know, my two brothers, my original family. The rest are half. So, uh, it's, it's been crazy. It has been warm. Um, it is like almost 90 degrees here today again if it's not 90 degrees already so I'll put this back on I'm trying to keep my head cover because if you UPS knocks on my door and they want me to do something my head's covered and they don't see my baldness but I still look good I mean But I don't, you know, I think I look good. And I know other people think I look good, too. So, if they don't like it, they don't have to look at me. You know, I'm doing it for, you know, people that I've lost. And next month is the anniversary of my aunt's death. And I, I love and miss my aunt so much. And I, I just want to say how grateful I was, I am for her, you know, for the time I was able to spend with her, spend with her. I mean, I was over there at least once a month to, you know, talk, chat, have lunch, um, you know, just visit, you know, have a good time with her. And, you know, I was over there every holiday, you know, then I wasn't alone, but, um, this was after my divorce, but, you know, after my divorce, now having to be on my own with her, my service dog, well, she's my, um, companion animal. She makes sure that I feel comfortable when I'm when I'm alone. When I'm sad and crying, she's right here. Um, so, I, I I have to tell you, I've never been able to do hands free unless it's on my tripod. Well, I have to tell you, I'm sitting in my recliner. You're sitting on my uh, laptop. My new cell phone case actually has a um, a loop on the back of it. I didn't think I could do that with this, so something gave me the idea today that I could just flip it down and set you on my computer and do a video. And so, yeah, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try that, and I. Here I am. So now that I know it works, I can do my devotions easier. I don't have to hold the phone and try to do a devotion or, you know, hold the phone and try to hold a baby, um, a reborn. Uh, you know, uh, 
you know, I, it's it's a whole new world, and I don't have to pull out a tripod. I mean, I have to be down to its level, but this is a whole new thing. I got another cell phone case that has the same kind of ring thing on it, and I ordered it from Amazon. One of these days, I will take it off my phone and do a short video and show you what it is, because it's very, it's, it's just a cell phone case that has a ring connect, excuse me, connected to it. And, I mean, and you, you, you set it up like you're watching TV or you, YouTube videos and, you know, it's awesome. I love it. Oh, I forgot to take my meds, guys. I got to get off of here and go take my meds and, um... Hey girl, there she is, <laughs> yeah there she is, anyway everybody I hope that you all have a wonderful day, remember to find joy in your journey, no matter where you are, whatever you're going through, there's always something to be joyful for and about, there's, remember to love yourselves and to love each other. Before you can love someone else, you've got to love yourself first. Remember to watch Lori's Crochet Corner 2 um, live panel tomorrow at 7, e 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, yeah. And go over there and congratulate her on her two, 2K subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye.